morning frogs, morning ladybugs. Hi, bumblebees and butterflies and all the little siblings and big siblings. Hi, everybody. Today is Thursday, April 30th. That's a three and a zero, and they're sitting side by side. So today is the last day of April, and we are going to finish up talking about gardens. And remember, now on Monday, you had to find words or food. You had to tell me what the food started with. Um, so today we are going to read a book about a potato, and potato is a food that starts with the letter P. And then we're going to make some carrot stuff, um, a carrot art project, and I think we should maybe start the day with the bean bag song. So find your bean bags. If you don't have bean bags, today I'm just going to use my imaginary bean bag. Um, but let's get started. Body gets your bean bag ready to rock. so I can see. And we have a story called The Enormous Potato by Aubrey Davis. All right, here we go. There once was a farmer who had an eye. It wasn't like your eye or my eye. It was a potato eye. And it grew into a potato. And the potato grew bigger and bigger. It grew fat. It grew enormous. It was the biggest potato in the world. Time to pull it out, said the farmer. So he grabbed the potato and he pulled and pulled again. But the potato wouldn't come out of the ground. So he called his wife. Why? Wise. The 
wife grabbed the farmer, the farmer grabbed the potato. They pulled and pulled again, but the potato wouldn't come out of the ground. So the wife called their daughter. Daughter! Oh, daughter! Uh, and they're pulling, they still can't get the potato out. The daughter grabbed the wife, the wife grabbed the farmer, the farmer grabbed the potato, and they pulled and pulled again. But the potato wouldn't come out of the ground. So the daughter called the dog. Here, dog, here! Woof, woof. The dog grabbed the daughter, the daughter grabbed the wife, the wife grabbed the farmer, the farmer grabbed the potato, and they pulled and pulled again. But the potato still wouldn't come out of the ground. So the dog called the cat. Come, cat, come, said the dog. Meow, 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 said the cat. The dog grabbed the cat. Grabbed the dog. The dog grabbed the daughter. The daughter grabbed the wife. The wife grabbed the farmer. The farmer grabbed the potato. And they pulled and pulled again, but the potato wouldn't come out of the ground. So the cat called the mouse. Help, mouse, help! Squeak, squeak, squeak! The mouse grabbed the cat. The cat grabbed the dog. The dog grabbed the daughter. The daughter grabbed the wife. The wife grabbed the farmer. The farmer grabbed the potato. They pulled and pulled again. <gasps> Out came the potato. That's the big potato, said the farmer. That's the big potato, said the wife. That's a huge potato. The farmer came and lost it and chopped it and cooked it too. Look at that. They're all stuck under that. And the smell of the potato brought people from town. They brought forks and bowls. They brought butter and salt. And soon everyone was eating potato. My, it was good. And they ate. And they ate. Until the potato was gone. And now the story is gone too. Oh my goodness! Yeah, potatoes. So you have to ask your grown-ups. I don't have a potato um, that has an eye right now, but there's usually like it looks like a little white root that kind of starts popping out of the potato. Maybe next time I'll um, I'll check to see if I can find a potato that has an eye. They call it an eye, the eye of the potato. So, but it's really where the root comes out. So um, I want to show you what our art project is for today, and your grown-ups. So you know what we have. So today we need uh, scissors, a glue stick, or if you have paint glue, today paint glue would be a really good idea. Um, I am going to use a crayon, but you could use a brown marker. You could use a brown marker or you could use paint. If you have paint, um, you could paint it today. Um, I don't have paint at my house. I just have paint at school because remember, I'm at home right now. Um, to make sure that there's, I'm safe from the germs. So, and you're going to have a what? Let's see. No, no, you can't start telling me until I show you what it is. And ask the question. Remember, think, think, think. What shape is this today? What shape? It is a rectangle that has two short sides and two long sides. And if I turn it this way, it's still a rectangle. You got it. And what color is it now? What did I hear? Blue. Good job. It is blue. And then you need another piece of paper. And it can be any kind of orange paper. It doesn't have to be the size. Of, this one looks, yes, it does look like a rectangle. Um, it doesn't have to be a rectangle. You just need to be able to cut some carrots from it. And then in your bag, you should have some of this stuff. Look at this. It is Easter grass. Or um, Easter shreds or whatever, that kind of stuff. Um, and that works too. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take our scissors. And remember, our thumb goes in the top bunk. Our fingers go in the bottom bunk. Is my thumb right? Nope, it's got to go this way. And remember, we cut away from us. And we're going to say open, shut, open, shut. This is how we cut, cut, cut. And I'm going to take my orange piece of paper 
and I am going to cut out a carrot. So I'm going to open, shut, open, shut, open, shut. Look at that. I cut, what shape is this? A triangle. You're right. It looks like a snowman nose too. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to cut out a triangle. All right. Now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to go open, shut, open, shut, open, shut. That's another one. I think I'll do three carrots, but you can do one carrot. You could do five carrots. You can do as many carrots as you want to cut. But today, just for time, I'm only going to cut three. So open, shut. See where my thumb still is? He's still on top. Open, shut, open, shut, open, shut. And remember, the thumb likes the top bunk. You got it. All right. Now, before I glue my carrots on, I am going to take my paper. And I today, I think I said I wanted to use my brown crayon. I'm going to use my crayon, and I am going to make, what do carrots grow in? They grow in, you know what, I'm going to use my marker because this doesn't show very good on the camera. I'm going to use my brown marker. And I am going to make, I am going to draw some dirt. I'm going to color it in. And you can do it however you want to do it. I'm just doing it kind of quickity quick now. Um, but I'm going to draw some dirt. So here is my dirt. See that? There's all my dirt. And then I am going to take my glue stick pull that off and remember we just a little bit we're not going to roll it up too far because then all the glue falls out and I am going to put some glue I think I'll put the glue in the dirt so I want my carrot to go right here just like that and I'm going to take my carrot and I'm going to put my carrot just like this and stick it down in the dirt and I'm going to say one two three stick for me and then I'm going to do another one and I'm going to go like this and I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to say one, two, three, stick for me. And I'll do one more. I'm going to put this one right over here and put my glue on. And I am going to say right here, one, two, three, stick for me. You see that? So my carrots are in the dirt. Now, hang on, because carrots have green tops. So... This might be a little hard with this kind of glue, but we'll see how it goes. And I'm going to put right here, I'm going to put some glue on top. Might need a little extra glue. And I'm going to take my stuff, and I am going to stick this on here. I might have too much. Here we go, just like that. Just like that. Whoops. Then I'll do it on my other two. I'm going to set it down because it's hard to do it when it's up, and I'll just hold it up and show you what I just did. And I'm going to put some on this one. And a lot of green on this one. I can shake it up a little bit. Oh, this middle one fell off, didn't it? It doesn't have very much on that. So, those are your carrot tops. Just like that. So, that's your art project for today. You get to make a carrot garden. So just like that in the dirt. Um, so that is what we have for today. Um, I think tomorrow, um, on Friday, I'm just going to do, I'll do some story time tomorrow. Um, so be sure to check back and see. Um, so I'm just going to read stories on Fridays. Um, just because I'm home and you're home. And stories just make us feel better. So um, turn it, tune in tomorrow for story time. And remember, you can always watch Teacher Stephanie's um, show, too. Um, she's on YouTube under K Terrace, T-H-E-R-R-E-S. Um, so there you have it, my friends. Have a great day. Bye.